But you know who's not part of the problem? Who's playing Lucina OG and Ross? Fox. <laughs> the OG roster characters uh, for Ultimate. We got Lucina, we got Fox, we have Paolo, and we have TD here. Once again, TD, definitely a player that I know from Central. Very, very solid, ranked in the sub region, and going to be using that Dolphin Slash a lot, as Lucina does. But this is going to be a spacing war last. I mean, it's, it's a fantastic tool in this matchup specifically because when Fox gets in close, he lands on you. He tries to play that mixed game of like, am I going to nair your shield? Am I going to dare your shield? Uh, do you parry? Do I poke? Lucina doesn't really care. She just Dolphin Slashes. She's out of dodge, and she might even get uh, an advantage state going as a result. But no tech chase this time around. It's just going to be Paolo claiming control of that left side stage, but quickly fires in. Yeah, I'm loving the way that TD does the spacing, right? If you're playing Lucina after all this time, right, of five years of ultimate being out, you really have to have the spacing down, especially with this character. We're going to be able to loop in the back air there very nicely by TD. And crosses up, too, to, to maybe mix the DI a little bit, because I don't think he should have died that early. Like, sure, I think it was at, like, 110, but I still think Fox should have been able to survive that. Okay, side special though, once again, great tilt there too. Going for it all, and unfortunately not going to be able to hit it, but no punish on the up smash, Ball. doesn't matter. Once again, this player's spacing is down tight, going to be able to find the up smash. Going to keep Dolphin slashing every time he gets in close, just uh, like I said, a quick get off me tool. Fires out the up smash though, and at least one stock down. Paolo has the opportunity to start making this comeback. We see one Fox string, we could see Last stock, last hit. That's the thing, right, with a lot of Fox players is that once you get really in there and you're able to find a, kind of find your like four or five piece combos, it looks really good. But when you're, you're unable to find dead. it, yeah. oh, you're raw, TD. You're raw. Fox. Uh, <laughs> Fox does not make the recovery against no. Lucina ever, um, unless Lu it's like it's entirely on the Lucina to make the mistake there. Uh, she has so many options there too. Could do like rising back air, rising nair, counter. All of it kills. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, what I was saying before, when Fox is able to get in and get those strings of like five, six, seven hits, it feels really good. But only when you're hitting one or two, you're not able to really take the character as far as it goes. So TD playing excellently. Once again, the out of shield game with not only Lucina, but TD himself playing very, very well. It's been a really fast game one. So I'm excited to see game two. Yeah, Fox is not a stray hit character. Yeah, absolutely not. Fox is based entirely on those like long strings and then connecting into up smash or an up air for a kill or maybe even a back air at ledge. So when you're getting completely walled out and every single time you try and get something started, you get dolphin slashed. It's not a fun time for a Fox. Yeah, especially not, but you're going to have to try and get these punishes here and really take them all the way. Once again, though, TD, great falling forward See air up. and the great back air as well. Going for it one more time uh -oh. and will actually make it back here. So now Paolo having the opportunity to get back into this, finds the drill, but instead TD actually going to Dolphin Slash out of there. What do you think about that option? Uh, I think it's just a, a quick little panic option and it, it works out. I, but I think if Paolo can start recognizing that, okay, TD is pulling the trigger really, really Really early on these dolphin slashes, he's panicking a lot. I can like dash in, dash out, or jump in, but double jump before I actually get into range of the dolphin slash. He's gonna panic, and then I can catch his landing. That would be a huge adaptation for something that TD is currently messing Paolo up for. Absolutely. Now, once again, both players you got the the double roll. You love to see it, but still, just trying to figure out a way. We hit the, no, the dolphin slash. slash. Not gonna do much though. And once again, we gotta start punishing for it. But TD going to be landing with a back air. It's three stocks to two. It's definitely not out of the realm of possibility, but we got to get something started for Paolo. We got to get some fire back in the box. That shouldn't have crossed. That was weird. Uh, and, and TD getting caught a little bit off guard as I was, tries to shield grab it. In most situations, you know, a Fox Illusion hits your shield, grab him, sure, it'll work out. Not that time, and Paolo might well convert this into a stock. No, not going to be able to get the last required back air. Okay, nice Nair though, once again to send TD off here. We need a hard read and that is going to be what we are looking for. Beautiful forward smash by Paolo. We're seeing a little bit more of a closer game. Liking the movement too, we're keeping up with the movement, dash dancing back and forth. We're just trying to find our way in, but it will be TD finding the side special here so far to get started. There's the Nair though by Paolo into the back air. Once again, we need to see more of these three, four, five piece combos to get started with this character. Oh, well, might have an opportunity for it now, but no, just a quick escape from TD once again. Ooh, Ooh. tries to call out a roll in as well, because that is something that paulu has been doing a lot of, is just like, I'm in danger, roll. I'm in danger, roll. Okay, still 
still no tech though. That's huge for Paolo. Unable though to follow TD in the air, so we're not able to find the up air. Finds the nair though, looking for the finisher with potentially an up smash, but still nothing else. Paolo once again on the ledge here, loving the jump out. There's the drill into the up smash, and Paolo definitely back into this. Has been looking for that for this entire set so far as well. Finally finds that necessary poke, converts it into the up smash, and converts it into his first stock lead of this entire set. Spot dodge not going to be capitalized on. An up tilt, the next one might very well kill. But just a raw F smash. All right. The hotbox shift on that served its purpose perfectly. There we go. There's a little bit more of the combo game off of the up tilt as well. But once again, you're landing on Lucina. We should know the Dolphin Slash by now. It's just a big red eject button still. Both players. I, it's Paolo now needing to take this game. But once again, Dolphin Slash out of shield actually going to take it back. TD rolling towards center stage, does not want to be in the corner versus Fox. Going to eat a quick 21% thanks to the side B. And this is TD, you know, where his game plan has been working at its best is just trying to wall out Paolo every time he tries to jump in, just swing, fair, bear, whichever. Paolo only really needs one more. So tries cool. to poke with the drill. Yes. Oh, there it is! I think TD was kind of getting a little bit, uh, like, he wanted it really bad. He wanted it really bad, too, with the uh, shield breaker. Yeah, he wanted the shield breaker, like, in air a little bit too bad for me. So it is going to be Paolo finding the strings, finally. When we find the strings, we're able to kind of thread it together and have a beautiful blanket of game two. We're going to game three here on Small Battlefield. And this is TD's pick. So we're not going to allow for Fox to kind of dash dance on one side of the stage. We're actually just going to get into close quarter combat, which I really enjoy. Yeah, it's a lot less space for the much faster Fox to work with. So we'll see. Fire Emblem music playing as well. <laughs> we'll see if it gives the power up. And to see if TD can convert this into a win, move on to winner semis of the pool. Three, two, or, one, go. Paolo's going to be able to do this. Let's see, early damage goes to TD, going to be able to convert this into a little bit more as he tries to catch Paolo's landing. No tech chase though. Yeah, once again, I feel like TD really needs to catch on to the fact that Paolo is constantly resetting and then dash dancing on the other side of the stage. But instead, Paolo is going to be the aggressor right now. Both hits are going to kind of trade here, but once again, a little bit more trades. But as always, last as we've seen so far, just Dolphin Slash out of the shield has been doing wonders for TD this and set so far. I'll point it out too, Dolphin Slash yet to be punished. It hasn't connected every single time, but it has definitely never been like a, a, a net negative for TD. Drops low and a great high angle on the Firefox, going to get Paolo straight out of danger and onto the stage and now into a ledge trap of his own. Dash attack, no back air to convert off of it. Waits a little bit too long, doesn't get the RAR. Ooh, okay, like just the standard get up into the F tilt here. We're gonna try and keep it nice and simple here. Going for the Dolphin Slash into the stage. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough, but TD going for a very early side special, and that's actually gonna be punished by the up smash here. Now TD looking for the opportunity, going for the down air, but now you're putting yourself at a huge disadvantage, but it doesn't matter because up tilt actually gonna take that stop. Yeah, TD definitely thirsting pretty hard for that Woo. kill, but at the end of the day, he gets it. Paolo fires back. Right after, only 10% of extra credit. Lucina definitely wanted at least like maybe an up tilt up air before that stock got taken away. And here we go, here's where Fox makes his money, trying to catch those air dodges, but manages to tech onto the platform instead. Seeing a little bit more close quarters combo combat right now. And side special once again going to prop Paolo up, but instead landing Nair into the dash attack. We need to see those big combos start coming out from Paolo as TD is going to be able to at least line into position. But from the edge guards in game one last, yeah, I'm starting to see them fall apart in game three. Since the first game where TD was able to get so much off of that, like it's definitely started to slack here. But just as we start to criticize him for the edge guard, he drops down, finds the bear for the stock. This is Paolo's opportunity to re. There it is. No, not quite. This is huge for TD too, right? We're getting a beautiful double up air into the back air as well. So looking real good, finds the drill, but unfortunately no follow up after. Maybe see something, but once again, landing there onto the shield is going to lead into the Dolphin Slash. Is ever gonna use a little bit of a forward air? We're gonna kind of like tease out there at least for a moment. Oh. There's the down air going for the F smash, not going to be enough. So instead, TD going to send Paolo coast to coast right now. There's the down tilt, trying to find a way back into this. Will the side special do it? It will, and that will be Central Pennsylvania taking one on street. And the, the biggest thing throughout that entire set was that 
Paulo found like the one hit, two hit, three hit strings, but he was never able, and this is the critical thing about Fox, is you have to be able to follow up against the secondary defensive right. option. And by secondary defensive option, I mean like they, they get to land and they tech, or they get to land and they get their shield out, or they right. get to land, they spot dodge. Or, for Lucina's case, they dolphin slash. Right. And the thing that makes Fox so scary is that he's got the movement speed, he's got the frame data, to if he starts calling out those secondary defensive options, he just takes you for an entire roller coaster ride, and there's not really much you can do about it except continue to try and throw out those options. Uh, and I think almost 100% success rate for TD on those, especially the Dolphin Slash. Every single time Paulo tried to convert further, it was just like, nope, you're in disadvantage now. Nope, you're in the corner. Nope, you're off stage. And especially in that third game, in the first game, the two that TD managed to win, off stage was a huge killer. Yeah.